In this video, myself and a couple of friends up in this tree are going to be taking care of this problem, this maintenance problem that's in my camper. The project today is take off this, the silicone that's holding on the seal and then uh, get that area all cleaned off and remove the old seal, measure out the new seal, slide it back into the rail, screw it down, and then silicone it up. So I found this by doing the regular maintenance because we're getting ready to do some camping. The top seal that's on the top of my slide for my slide out, there are three sides, the two sides and the top. The top one was starting to rot. Well, when it rots, it turns into this gooey, tarry mess. You can see here by the pieces that I took off and I put into this box. And what I discovered is by working on this when it's warm, it's not such a good idea. The stickiness is even worse. So here's one tip. Wait till it's cold outside and then trim this stuff off. I got one of my razor knives and I took and carefully slid along the gooey part, the part that's rotting, of my upper seal. You can see what I've done here is I've taken the razor blade and I've trimmed back both the top and the part where it was all corroded. I mean, it's not doing anything for me now, so there's no reason, I don't think, to have it there. I trimmed it back to the back where it's starting to be okay, where it's not gluey to the touch. The rest of this stuff is pretty gluey. If you touch it, you know, if I come back here and I touch it, it'll still, and because it's cold, it's not doing it now, which is a really good thing. But look here, you can see that just by moving my hand earlier, just touching, it just it just kind of spreads. And I trimmed out all the excess of the bad part of the seal. I didn't trim off the whole uh, part that slides into the rail, which we'll get to later. But I just trimmed off the gooey parts and stuck it in this box. And you can see it got all over the razor knife. It got all over my hands. This stuff is really sticky. Think of busting an ink pin in your hand and the ink transfers from finger to finger. That's how bad this is. When I went down to my local RV shop where I bought the material from, and I bought it, it's by foot. I bought uh, 21 feet of this material. I need like 20 feet, four inches. And the reason I got so much is I want to replace all three of them. You know, if the top one's starting to rot and be contaminated like this, the sides will not be too much longer behind. So I'm going to replace all three of them and we'll just get this project done. It's kind of like replacing smoke alarm batteries. When one of them starts to go bad, replace them all or every week, for as long as you have smoke alarm sensors, you're gonna be getting up in the middle of the night because that's when they go off and changing out those batteries. Here's something I recommend for all of your projects when you start these kind of things out in the RV. Take a picture, take a video, do something, write some notes down on how it is, whatever it is that you're taking apart or fixing. Because once you get into these projects, like so often is my case, it turns out to be something worse than what you anticipated. This way you know how to put the thing back together and how it should look when you're done. This is kind of neat though, look at that. I'm going to treat this fix like it was a field repair. And when you do these sort of things when you're out camping or you're out in the field, you just got to make do with what you have. So I'm going to reuse a couple of the staples. You can see here that there's just a lot of junk, a lot of crud. It's almost like it's sawdust from the original install. This is one of the most frustrating things is when you have an RV, you kind of, you're hoping that it was put together well, that it's built good. But when you dig into stuff, you find out that you just people don't care when they put these things together, it seems. So here's a staple. This this here, this staple was put, it's supposed to be put right here and it was stuck under the side rail. So now the replacement seal can't be put in unless I move it. So I'm gonna move this and put this staple in where it needs to go in the proper place. And that's really all the little things you can do to help yourself to you know, make your installation right. And cleaning up your work surface, I mean, that's just one of those things. When you do these little, when you take these little steps to do your fixes, whatever you're doing, it always feels good to know that you've done a little bit better of a job, so your RV better when you're out camping.
that was really straightforward. All I had to do was staple, re-staple back the uh, staples I took out that held the base rail, I guess you'd call it, just a rubber rail. And once I got that in, sliding this new um, seal back on, that was really easy, easy peasy. I'm gonna wrap this up, go get some silicone, seal this back off and get everything off the roof and call it good. I'll do the other sides when we get back from our trip. All in all, if you did this, I'm thinking it might take an hour at the most. Depends on how much detail you uh, took and how many of the problems you ran across. If you like this episode, click that like button down below. It helps the video and it helps the channel. And of course, if you're new here, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.